Good morning. Glad you've joined me for our devotional thought for this Tuesday. It's first Tuesday in September, and uh, we had a great service on Sunday. We had our outdoor service, so we weren't able to live stream. So I thought for today, I would just take you through uh, what the Lord uh, spoke to us about on Sunday, and hopefully it'll be an encouragement to you. We looked at Mark chapter 4, and uh, we all dread tests. Um, we can remember in school having to deal with tests or quizzes. Um, but in our spiritual life, we have tests. I mean, we even have tests even as adults in our different careers. Some of our careers involve recertifications or uh, whatever, and you have to take tests. Well, for us, it requires we have tests in our spiritual walk. And here the disciples in Mark chapter 4 are going through a test. So Mark chapter four, verse 35 says this, in the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there was also with him other little ships. And so we see here, the first of all, the path of God, Jesus had been teaching all day. He gave his disciples a command. He said, hey, we're going to launch out and we're going to go to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. And so there was a command that he gave. Jesus gave a command. And then what he desired was to see change. He had been teaching his disciples all day. And now it was time for the test. Time to see if they had really uh, not only been listening, but had faith in him uh, that what he had taught and his leadership uh, was that in their mind uh, that they had faith in it, that this was God and he was moving. And so Jesus gave a command and he desired to see change in them. One thing that we pointed out was Jesus will change you, but never change for you. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is a loving, wonderful, but holy savior. And he wants to change you into his likeness. Then we looked at number two, the presence of God. So let's continue reading says in verse 37, and there arose a great storm of wind. This storm is uh, given the title Sharkaya. Um, it has been a storms that have uh, happened often on the Sea of Galilee because of its location. And they're very violent wind storms. And so this is a Sharkaya going on here. And so it says there was a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and the, the, they're full of water. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the, unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was great calm. And so we see the presence of God. Jesus is present throughout. He's present throughout this, uh, what they're going through, this test. And so we need to understand this. Jesus gives commands. He gives out tests and he promises a guaranteed arrival. He told the guys, hey, we're going to the other side. It was guaranteed. But he, the path to the destination is not guaranteed to, be, guaranteed to be easy. Jesus never guaranteed a smooth sailing. But he does guarantee that if you'll trust him, that he will take you to the expected end. And so the presence of God, he's present throughout. Notice this, he didn't give them the command and they say, all right, guys, you're on your own. I'll see you on the other side. No, he went with them. And uh, he was patient in the midst. Jesus wasn't impatient because the storm came up. He was sleeping. I mean, imagine that, this great storm of wind. I believe this is unlike any other that had been experienced on the Sea of Galilee. One reason is because some of these disciples were fishermen. They had been out there when these had come up before, but they were in great fright and fear. And so, yet he was sleeping in the back because he was patient with the test. He was patient with the disciples. Many of his disciples came to him and they asked him a question about Carest thou not that we perish? He didn't berate them. And we're going to look at that a little bit more. But he was present with them throughout the test. And he was patient in the midst of the test with them. And then the last thing we saw was the power of God. The power of God. And we, we had to look back at the power of this test, this tempest, this great storm of wind. But look, look at what he said. Back at verse 39. His response when his disciples asked him, Man, don't you care? Man, I, I love the old hymn that says, uh, oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. 
Look at Jesus' response. He arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. This is the power of God. Over this storm that is so powerful, Jesus simply arose. He stood up. He woke out of his sleep, and he stood up. And then he spoke. And when he spoke, the Bible says, he said three words, the shortest sermon ever, peace be still. Means that the water was calmed. There was a great calm, meaning the water, which had been raging, was like a, a, a mirror of glass. And the wind was, the word that's translated there, ceased, it is the idea of muzzled. The wind was muzzled with these three simple words. But even greater than that was the calming of the disciples' hearts. When Jesus said those three words, he didn't only calm the storm, but he calmed their hearts. And then he began to ask questions, to direct them to faith. He said uh, unto them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, no longer fearing the storm. Their focus was wrong. Now they feared the Lord. They had a respect and reverence for him because of his awesome power. And they said one to another, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? They worshiped him. And so I encourage you to do that today. Understand that we need to focus on the rest of the Savior instead of the raging of the storm. Jesus rested in the midst of that test. We too can rest in the midst of our test as we focus on the Lord Jesus and we go to him. Man, the disciples had the correct response in the fact that when they're in the midst of that storm, they went to Jesus. They knew where the answer lie, and they went to him. And so I want to encourage you to do that. Man, go to Jesus when you're in the storms, but unlike the disciples, learn as they learn through this. And when you go into those storms, keep your focus on Christ. I think we can see as, as Jesus' ministry moved forward and as we see the disciples work that they learned this lesson too and their focus stayed on Christ. So I hope you have a blessed day and enjoy your afternoon. God bless.